Yes, Gawa. <laughs> This video shows how to set up the MP2300 SIEC or the MP2310 IEC controller. Here's a quick preview of everything I'll show in this video. After wiring and checking DIP switch settings, use the built-in web server to set the IP address, the clock, one reboot, and the controller is ready to go. Now let's go through this procedure in more detail. As outlined in the MPIEC Quick Reference Guide, document number QRG.MP2000IECSeries.01. Whether you just took the controller out of the box or you have a controller of unknown configuration, these steps will get you up and running. First, install any of the option modules. The MP2300SIEC can be ordered with the LI001 or the LI002 module factory installed. So you may be able to skip this step. These illustrated instructions are part of the hardware manual, which is document YEA-SIA-IEC-2. Next, check the DIP switches. Only the config switch is normally set on. All the others are normally set to off. Config on at PowerUp allows the controller to discover Mechatrolink devices and local I.O. cards but it does not affect the operation of the controller. Install the controller and wire the 24 volt DC power. Again, please refer to the hardware manual. Now power up the unit. Expect the alarm light to be on at this point. Now we need to connect to the controller's built in web server to set the IP address and the clock. Connect an Ethernet cable between the PC and the controller, and then type the IP address into Internet Explorer. A new controller has the IP address of 192.168.1.1. If the controller is not new, you can still use this address after rebooting the controller with the eInit switch on. For more details and troubleshooting, please see the eLearning videos on setting the IP address of your PC and on connecting to the controller. Next, log in as admin with capital A, and the password is MP2300S, all caps. This opens up the full menu list on the left side. Under Ethernet config, enter the required IP address of the controller. I will set this controller to 192.168.15.23. Leave the subnet mask at 255.255.0 and click Update Built-in Ethernet Settings. Down the page to Global Settings, enter the IP address of the gateway device if you have one on the network. If there's no gateway, then match the default gateway to the IP address. I don't have a gateway, so I'll enter again 192.168.15.23, then click Update Global Settings. Finally, set the date and time under Set Clock. The date and time in Set Clock appears in the alarm history and debugging output and must be set. Notice it's 24 hour format with time zone. Auto run should be checked. Then click Set Date Time. For synchronized with network time server, the controller must have access to the network time server during operation. Most factory networks don't have such access, and so this feature most often goes unused. To activate these changes in the web server, you must reboot the controller. Config should be on, and eInit should be off. Choose Reboot, Reboot Controller, and OK. And the controller is rebooted with the ready light on. To connect again, adjust your computer's IP address to match the subnet of the controller and connect to the controller's new address, in this case 192.168.15.23. With this, the hardware is set up. You may also consider updating the controller firmware, and you can see the video on firmware update for that step. Once the firmware level is correct, see our videos on connecting Mechatrolink to servos, starting up from a project archive, 
or starting a new project in MotionWorks IEC. Thanks for watching this video, and remember yaskawa.com slash IEC for application notes, videos, firmware updates, and more.